This father has managed to teach his toddler what to do if somebody touches him in the private area. Keep watching this video, this is something we've never seen before. Okay, so I got sent this Instagram reel from one of my followers and it shows how a father has managed to teach his toddler what to do if somebody touches him in certain areas of his body. I have watched it already. It's very, very interesting and it leaves for a lot to be discussed. So let's watch it. It's like 30 seconds long. We'll watch it together and then we'll go through it. Okay. Hayır kanka bizim özelimiz neresi? Başkan. Peki bizim özelimizi kimler görebilir ve kimler dokunabilir? Anneanne, dinlenen anne. Tamam. Peki başkası özelimize dokunursa ne yapacağız? Bağırır. Nasıl? <gülüyor> okay, that's it. Let's watch it again, yeah? Let's just watch it again. Because I have never seen anything like this before. Uh, like just anything like this before. I have talked a lot about this before, as you well know. And I have read many and watched many other people talk about teaching children about their own body and their private areas. This guy is showing us actually how it has been done. Let's just watch the video again, right? 23 seconds. Just what let's watch it again and really get what it's showing us. Hayır kanka bizim özelimiz neresi? Başkan. Peki bizim özelimizi kimler görebilir ve kimler dokunabilir? Anneanne, dinlenen anne. Tamam. Peki başkası özelimize dokunursa ne yapacağız? Bağırır. Nasıl? Okay. Okay. What to what to say first? Let's say this first. That this video shows us that it's possible. It's possible to teach a young child in very simple ways that are not scary, that are not going to ruin their innocence are not going to frighten them the rules the simple simple rules as simple as teaching a child what to do if a stranger talks to them as simple as teaching a child to say no to drugs as simple as teaching a child not to talk to strangers it's just as simple as all of those other things that we do on a day-to-day -day basis and we all agree as a society, as a community, as a human race that they are necessary things. Look how simple this father has made it. What parts of the body does no one else touch? He points to his front, he points to his bottom, he points to his chest, I would have also liked the lips also there. And then who, the next question is, who is allowed to touch you there? My mother and my grandmother. And then what are you going to do if somebody does touch you? Scream. It, he just made it so simple. And I mean, a child has more than the capability to understand what those rules mean. They're not complicated. They're not complicated. They're just so simple. It's a great example of what can be done. Now, I know that we all have resistance inside of us to doing this. I've spoken countless times about how we need to get rid of that resistance to doing it. Number one, because what this father has done for his child is no more scary than teaching the child about stranger danger, stay no to, say no to drugs, um, and all the other things we warn our child of doing or not doing or avoiding as they grow up. 
this one's no more scary. So let's get it in the mixer, right? Let's just get it in the mixer. And the other point that I'm always making is that unfortunately we live in a world where this is happening to countless children. I was one of them. So I'm not just guessing. I'm not just saying. I'm not just it's not because I've read it in a book or I studied it at a university. I'm telling you because it happened to me. And if I had known these rules, there is a at least a 1% chance that I would have actually said something at the time it was going on. And if these rules are not implemented on a continuous basis so that the child knows the answers to the questions like this father has managed to do very successfully then if that child does go through a situation of abuse in their childhood and they tell you when they're 25 years old or 30 years old and that's the first time you ever hear about it you are going to be killing yourself that you didn't do these things <sighs> And there's definitely going to be a percentage of the homes, the family homes, where some parents are just not going to do this for whatever reason. So then I wonder, when are we going to start getting this type of education into schools? I have heard that it is creeping in there, um, but I feel like we are still way behind the times It's more important than any other subject that gets taught in schools. I've been thinking about this a lot recently because some of you may have seen on my social media platforms, on my Instagram, my Facebook, my Twitter, my LinkedIn, whichever one you are following me on, on following my content on. You would have heard that I am putting together a proposal to try to get into schools at the moment. And I am reading the curriculum uh, to, to understand what currently is being taught in schools. And the more I dive into this, the more I know, and which confirms my thoughts, that this type of education is more important than any other subject that is taught in schools. Let's take the subjects that are taught every single day in schools. We've got math, science and English. I think that's worldwide as well. <clears throat> math, science and the, and the home language that that child is going to school in are taught every single day. Now, as a parent, as a family member who has children close to them, what one would you say is more of a catastrophe them failing their maths exam or them telling you when they're 30 years old that some abuse happened to them when they were a child which one would you rather would you rather that they fail their science exam time and time again and in exchange for that, they were taught so vigorously about the rules, about what abuse is, what to do if they feel uncomfortable in a situation. And let me repeat that there. What would you rather? Would you rather them fail their science exam time and time again? And instead of... Ha and instead had a better education on the rules around their body, what to do in abusive situations, what's allowed and what isn't, so that if they did come across that situation, they told you before it happened. Which one would you rather? Nobody is saying they would rather the science exam be passed. But what is more predominant in the education system English, science and maths, nothing about abuse. When I'm having good days, I'm like, I'm going to change that. Like, I'm, I'm going to change that. When I aim for the stars, I'm like, I'm going to get that changed, right? I'm going to get in front of these education professionals and I'm going to get that changed. 
and I'm not slating or or attacking the education professionals. And the reason why I'm going to say that is the Department of Education here in the UK have written a curriculum, which is RSE, the RSE curriculum, which is Relationship and Sexual Education, which is being taught in primary schools here in the UK, which is children up to 12 years old, and is compulsory for secondary school students, which is 12 to 16. I have read through that 50-page document a number of times now, and it's helping me write the school proposal that I'm putting together, and it is written fantastically. It is excellent the problem is it's probably being taught at best once a month I, I would guess it's probably like twice a year that it's being taught I may be completely wrong here so if you're a teacher in the UK please put a comment in and and, and let us know how frequently the RSC curriculum is being taught or if you're in another country and you're watching this video, maybe you know um, how often these types of subjects are taught. The RSC curriculum covers relationships, toxic situations in relationships, abuse in relationships, the dangers of being online, what to do if you come across adult material online, physical abuse, verbal abuse, neglect, emotional abuse, sexual abuse. It covers all these things. It needs to be implemented in the home. It needs to be implemented in school. The reason is, is because every adult knows that this would be the most horrific thing that could happen to their child. It would be the thing that every adult would wish didn't happen to their child. And how are we going to ensure that it doesn't happen to children education information they we i feel like sometimes we're so surprised with how much they can learn i'm always hearing um people say they're so clever they, we told them something and now they know it. They're learning to read. They're picking up words quickly. I took them here and they just learned it. They're playing this sport and it's so crazy. They're learning quickly. Of course they're learning quickly. They're learning at triple the speed that us adults learn. And that is an underestimation. They are learning a hundred times faster than how, us, uh, how, uh, how, how quickly us adults learn. We're not giving them enough credit. You know? Just because they can't work a computer at that age. <laughs> Actually, they probably, by the time they're 10, can work a computer better than us. Just because they can't, I don't know, work their finances or earn money. It doesn't mean that they're stupid. You know, let's take this child in this video as an example. When they're around that age, they're learning to talk. Yeah, they go from not being able to say words to be able to communicate with words. They are incredible human beings, even though they're young. They can take on this information. We just need to do it in a simple way. We need to do it in a way that's not frightening. And we need to do it in an age appropriate way. And I feel like this father has hit the nail on the head. Much respect to this father. Much respect to this father. The more and more I do this work, the more I am seeing people put comments on posts saying that they have been talking to their children. I run another platform called Something to Say Official. If you've never seen it, please go check it out. Predominantly, there are people talking about their stories of child abuse, a child abuse experience in their past. And... It's a place of strength and courage and lots of people are saying that um, they want change and they want to see things change in the education system and in homes. And then you see a lot of parents actually commenting on those posts, excuse me, and talking about the fact that they are now talking to their children about the simple things like what areas no one else is allowed to go near. That is 
priceless information for a child in the world we live in today. And actually, the more I look at the dangers of being online when you're young and what you may come across and who you may be approached with, that information needs to be expanded on now and children need to be talked to about what they may come across or who may they who may approach them online and the reason why I say that is because the majority of children are on tablets watching YouTube and playing games and they those platforms anybody can create a profile and anybody can message anybody and you whereas before back in the day before screens were even a thing at least when you were with your toddler or your five-year-old or your eight-year-old um you were with them and you had your eyes on them when they're on the internet, it's almost metaphorically like they're walking around this world anywhere they want to go without you there. That's what it's like. So, we have so much work to do. We have so much work to do and it is an incredible challenge. It's a very motivating challenge it's full of energy, it's full of inspiration, it's the buzz that I get every morning that I wake up trying to think about how we can knock these doors down that have been locked for decades, to kick them down, to make sure that they never close again, and to give these children a safer childhood in the dangerous world that we currently have. I feel like that's a good evaluation and discussion on this video let me know what you think about what this father has achieved even if you think that he's gone too far with any aspect of it even if there's a slightly something you disagree with it um, but of course if it's something you agree with put a thumbs up in the comments section and let's see what people think thank you for watching all the best